3D printing methods similar to those at X1 are being embraced by small businesses across the country as a low-cost option to prototype design. Kai Sisson takes us to a lab in California that's training the next generation of students in this revolutionary technology. If used correctly, this technology has the potential to change the game in manufacturing for the United States. The revolutionary manufacturing technology of Rapid Tech at the University of California, Irvine is paving the way for small businesses to produce three-dimensional prototypes on a budget. We want to give smaller companies access to this technology to let them be more competitive. Rapid Tech's printers are able to create objects layer by layer in three dimensions and can print prototypes within a matter of hours. This saves companies time and money when needing to correct flaws in design and more importantly, when going after market share. We want to make sure that when they go out to get it manufactured, they have all the correct files, all the correct tools, and all the correct data to give to the manufacturer. It lets a little company react to the market like a big company. Rapid Tech, a nonprofit company funded by the National Science Foundation and Saddleback College, is primarily in the business of training students for the workforce. UC Irvine professor Dr. Mark Medow compares this 3D manufacturing revolution to that of the personal computer transformation of the 1980s, when few businesses bought that new technology and fewer still knew how to use it. The connection between science and workforce is not there anymore. And so we might invent new things and make these new machines, but we don't have the people that can staff them and operate them. And that's what we are especially good at. That's the education with these new tools. Solar Sorora is researching a biomedical project. He says the 3D printing technology offers real cost savings for the healthcare industry. We can make these discs uh, at very low cost and very fast. So the turnaround time from design to uh, the testing level is very short. I I'm laying out my plans for a new national network of manufacturing innovation. The Obama administration is proposing to put $1 billion into opening up to 15 new manufacturing innovation institutes to help make American industry more competitive and encourage investment in the U.S. It's going to help get that next great idea from a paper or a computer to the lab, to the factory, to the global marketplace. They're looking at the drop in GDP, and they have a very bold and progressive plan to move manufacturing forward. And Rapid Tech is booming, helping over 900 companies last year alone. At the University of California, Irvine, for First Business News, I'm Kai Sisson. With demand for the new 3D printing, Rapid Tech grads are finding work with companies such as Nike and Boeing.